we start the class today, I wanna say hello to everybody. Hi. We're gonna do a short haircut today. I'm gonna walk you through it step by step, show you guys how to how to do it. So we're gonna be doing a shorter haircut on the mannequin today. I wanna go kind of pixie style. Let's get started and uh, have some fun. Now, she's got a little bit shorter fringe, so I gotta keep that in mind when I go into this shorter haircut with how I want the outcome to be. But we're gonna go through in section. Now, I'm gonna break down the way that I wanna section this off because if I'm gonna do kind of a fringier uh, feeling around on the edges, then I may want to think about that when I'm going through my sectioning. Couple things. So first I'm gonna section off the fringe, then I'm gonna move into sides. Fringe will also include a little bit of the top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw kind of from the apex or the high point of the head. I'm gonna draw that down to the corner of the eyebrow. Here, right on over. There we go. Nice little slight diagonal forward line. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite here. Draw from the high point down to the edge of the eyebrow. More, there you go. So that is our fringe section. Comb this up in a way. And the reason I like to section off the fringe is when you look at this, you're gonna see that this is all basically sitting on the curve of the head, on the curve that kind of goes down. So I wanna be aware of that as I'm cutting the top of the head. You can see how from the high point, it's all kind of downhill from there. Add my clip in, make sure you got a nice clean vertical line back. Then comb the hair around the head and get it moving in the direction you wanna take your part. I move it around the head this way. Then I take underneath the crown and I work around the head to that point, just like that. Now I'm gonna take this, twist it, and clip. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low. Um, I'm definitely gonna use the tri razor today. We're gonna split front and back. I wanna go right to this hairline area. Clip this, there it is. And I'll clip that back and away. Actually, let me get that tighter back. Now, if I want it to go diagonal forward, I go back to this back corner here. If I want it to go diagonal back, then I go to this front corner here. If I want it to be square, I go square to the parting. So I want it to go diagonal forward, push that weight towards the front of the face. So I'm combing this hair up, and now I'm gonna work my tri razor across this section, just like this, and create a line. So when you comb the hair down, see how it gets fringier around the edges, and it keeps that length? That's the goal. I can always cut into that later, but it gives me that kind of length to play around with within this cut. We're gonna do another similar uh, thing. We're gonna do it on the other side. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low. Now, if you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. Now, we're gonna take a triangle section out of the back, so right here. And there's a reason for this triangle section, but I'll explain in a minute. So you're kind of just taking some of that crown out. So from basically this point here, I'm gonna come down. I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So here, and I'll check my triangle, make sure it's good enough. I'm gonna do a very similar technique. Make sure you get the root nice and tight, and then carve across. And when I comb it down. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low. Now, if you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just gotta know. So what do we do with this triangle section in the crown? You can either cut it with scissors now at this point, if you want to go a little more precise, or if you wanted to kind of just carve into it, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start bringing some of this hair over to me and just drawing these lines that I want, kind of working through it, looking underneath, because remember, I've got a guideline that kind of comes through. So I'm gonna bring the hair over and just start etching away at a line, creating a nice soft line for myself like that, you know, and just keep working through it cutting really along the surface to create a nice little soft shape. That's the beauty to me of a razor is being able to just kind of have this tool in my hand, over direct the hair where I think it needs to be, and then just creating those soft, softer lines within the hair. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low. Now, if you wanna go, let's go. Let's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this section here and I'm gonna pull it over here and cut it. And then that's going to release weight over this. And then I'm gonna go cut it into it this way as well. I'm gonna let down these two sections. So one section here. I wanted to get a little creative and just kind of create something in front of you guys today. So that's what we're doing, having some fun. There's no thought besides inside my brain prior to this. I um, just wanted to Get in there and create. I'm gonna bring this hair out. I've got my guide still from underneath. And now the heavier back and forth motion you make with the razor, the lighter the line is gonna be. So I bring this hair out and I just continue cutting through it, creating a soft line. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low. Now, if you wanna go, let's go. Let's 
now, got our fringe area. Pop that out. I'm gonna part this down the center and separate two sides. Take a little diagonal parting and cut it and then fall kind of short to long. When I cut with a razor, I can do that or I can just say, you know, it's gonna kind of fall right there and then just lightly start sketching in my line and where that hair is gonna sit. So I can say, all right, that's what I want it to do. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low. So now I do the same thing on the opposite side. I just got an awesome vibe. Striking the wind of hopes now. Liberty's on my mind. We've got our overall shape. It's not done at all, but it's, you know, the wet part is done. Now we're going to go in. I'm going to blow it dry. I don't want to stay here, no. Ain't going to keep it low now. If you want to go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Striking the wind of hopes now. Liberty's on my mind. Razor cutting. This is why I say that scissors and razors go so well together because sometimes you don't need a totally fringy haircut, right? What I want to do is I can look at some of these lines, some of these longer pieces that I created, and I can go in and now start softening uh, this shape a little bit. So here we go. You can see that. You can see just a half close of the scissors sliding through. I don't want to stay here, no. Ain't going to keep it low. Cut into this fringe a little bit. Actually, really digging this uh, shape. Absolutely. Cut this disconnect in half. Comb just a tiny bit over. See what it looks like. I'll put my Velcro clip up there. Hold that in place. And then I'll just take my texturizing scissor and I'll start working some of that hair that falls over. I'll just start working through that. Just sliding it. Comb the hair back the way that I want it to fall. The way that I want it to kind of flow back. And then I'll cut a little bit more. Kind of making it lighter through that disconnect. Into the back, which then takes on a shape that I want to skinny up into a little bit more here. So I'll go in. I don't want to stay here, no. Ain't going to keep it low. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Striking the wind of hopes now. Liberty's on my mind. We've taken off with All right, guys. Thank you very much. Hope you guys enjoyed the class. I will see you guys 